Here is what's for dinner tonight. It's going to be caprese fish. And caprese is basically mozzarella cheese balls, tomatoes, and fresh basil. So I'm going to be incorporating that into my fish recipe. This was inspired by my sister. I took what she did and I'm putting my own little twist on it. So this is the fish from Trader Joe's. It looks really thin and I'm going to be sauteing it in a large pot. I will write down the recipe for you at the end so you don't have to try to write all this down, but I'm gonna do some olive oil, about two tablespoons of butter, and probably at least a tablespoon of garlic and let that heat up and then put the basil in and keep it on medium heat so that the basil and garlic don't burn. And then I'm gonna add in my fish for about three minutes. I'm going to flip it and then I'm gonna put on the tomatoes and I'm gonna chop these mozzarella balls in half. And so they'll get a little bit melted. I may cover it. And then as a side, we're gonna do some green beans and Texas toast, which is never disappoints, right? So I will show you once the fish starts cooking. For the fresh basil, I did about eight large leaves. These were pretty big and then just a rough chop. In my large pan, I did about two tablespoons of butter and then a heaping tablespoon of minced garlic. And we're gonna keep this on medium so that the garlic doesn't burn. And same with the basil, we're just getting this sauce going. So I'm gonna put all of this in and we're gonna save the fresh lemon for the very end. But let's get this sauce heated up and then we're gonna put the fish right on top. That pack of fish comes with four nice sized fillets and then I'm just sprinkling some kosher salt and pepper on each one. I also decided to throw a little bit of garlic powder on it too. And the first side is gonna go for three minutes, then we're gonna flip it for three minutes on the other side. I just flipped it and the skin came off really easily. I just used a spatula and a fork to get it off. Then I put some of the butter and garlic and basil on this side. And now next I'm going to squeeze with the fresh lemon. Comes in handy when you have a lemon tree in the courtyard. So we we'll squeeze with lemon and we're just gonna throw these in there too. And then I can't really do this one handed but I'm gonna put the bruschetta and the mozzarella balls on top. I ended up putting in about 10 or 12 mozzarella balls chopped in half. And then I think I used maybe about a half a container of this. I don't know, maybe it's like five tablespoons or something. So I am going to cover this up so that the mozzarella cheese can get melted. I also forgot to mention that this oil that's in the marinated mozzarella balls is really good. So I poured a little bit extra on top just to give it some more flavor. Next, I'm gonna sprinkle this with a little bit more salt because the salt really helps bring out the flavor of the mozzarella cheese and the tomatoes and the olive oil. Here's what it looks like when it's done. I'm gonna serve it and pour the sauce over top. Here's what it looks like. Can't go wrong with garlic toast, right?